Alright, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool little vase. It's going to be ready for 3D printing. Please excuse my voice and my little sniffles. I'm a little sick. And please excuse all the obnoxious cars and planes flying overhead. So to start off, we're going to sketch on the front plane. And we're going to draw a line from the center line right and then we're going to draw a line on the bottom line and we're going to connect them in the middle and we're going to make that line we're going to make it 150 so that it's about six inches tall so that's 150 millimeters so it's around six inches good size for a 3d printed base and then we're going to do a spline along these two points and you can make it however you want hit escape um, and this is really easy to adjust later um, you know just play around with how you want these so I kind of want this to be there maybe this comes out and this goes in and something like that um, where this hold on so if that's happening just delete the sketch entity oh, not that. I'll delete this sketch entity so that it's not vertical vertically constrained to it um, and you want to keep this at like a 45 so you don't have to use any supports when you're printing this vase so Mess around with the shape you want. Get her looking pretty. Um, and then we will revolve it. So revolve it, you just click on the profile, revolve axis around the center line. And that's looking pretty good. So we're gonna roll with that. So, in order to get some uh, nice detailing, oh, I'm sorry for the cars, they're, it's going to be happening a lot. Um, you're going to click on the front plane, then you're going to go to the plane operator, and you're going to click on this little arrow right here, and you're going to drag it out so that it's not intersecting with the vase like that, and that's out here. And of course a jet is flying over, so that's cool. Um, please excuse that. I'm going to try and just talk over it. Um, so then you're going to sketch on that plane and you're going to do a spline staying within these side walls of the base profile and you're just going to make a little squiggle, random little squiggle and then hit escape and you want to you want to go uh, out the top, out the bottom yeah, whatever. Just make sure it covers the whole base. Hit OK. Now you're going to go to the right plane. Sketch on that. And draw a line that's in the center. Go in just out. Doesn't matter how big it is. It's just a direction line. And we're going to do... Alright, so then we'll go project the curve. Um, it, it'll It'll look like a helix when you're doing it. Um, so you just drop down the helix, find projected curve, click on that, go to the edges, click on the edge, a little squiggle, then you're going to click direction and click on your direction line and make sure it's pointing, you know, into the target, click on your target and it'll draw you a nice little projected line onto your base. Now I want to do two um lines so i'm going to sketch on this plane again and make one going the opposite direction kind of like this right that looks pretty cool so then and then you can you can adjust that if you want to just click off spline and then you can move around these points so let's do that. All right. 
maybe yeah I want it to come up like that and uh, since that if they have if it's like stuck like on a line vertically um, if you hover over the line these will be the constraints that it's constraining um, you can just click on that so that it turns blue whatever right click on it delete sketch entity and then you can move it wherever you want um, so I'm just gonna do that that looks that looks pretty cool all right and then once again you have to make a direction line simple just go out right and then project that curve onto your target so now we have two lines like that two projected curves now we're going to go up to the top face and we're going to sketch on it and we're going to use circles and where the where your line meets this face is where you're going to start your circle and I'm going to make those I'm going to make those five millimeters uh, yep that looks good and then we'll do another one so I'll do another sketch on the other line and make that five actually let's let's make it bigger let's make it eight let's get some variation going all right so we'll finish that sketch and now we'll sweep the first one so that was sketch six we're going to sweep sketch six along its path all right make sure it's and if you get any errors um you may have to play around with your your uh projected curve spline um also you can mess around with these like keep orientation um you just mess around with those to uh get rid of your errors and it'll merge automatically with this thing but that's no problem uh, so it okay and then sweep your other sketch which was sketch seven sweep along that path right so that'll merge with the other things and it'll look kind of cool all right so now we want to pretty much copy paste these things all the way around the perimeter of your vase and so to do that we're going to need to make a center line in the middle as a revolve axis or a circular pattern axis um, for each one so say you want to do you know 40 of these lines revolved and you want to do only 10 of these give it some variation um, we'll do these separately so sweep one we're going to go up to it'll be linear pattern right here but you want to drop the arrow down you want to do circular pattern so we're going to grab that and right now it's on pattern it's automatically goes to pattern feature or part feature excuse me um, but since this is one part it will it will just revolve this whole thing so you want to bring it down to feature pattern and the first feature is your sweep one and you're going to do the axis on the line you just drew uh, make sure you hit re reapply features um, so that you know keeps everything uniform and it'll work so let's do let's do 30 for this one you just play around with these numbers hit enter it'll load you'll see how it looks you can keep playing around with them um, I usually start off with about 30 all right so that's loaded that looks, that looks pretty good so we'll hit OK on that, and then we'll go to another circular path. Oh, actually, we have to make another center line for the revolve. So back on the right plane, or either plane, you could do it on the front plane too. 
Um, just one in the center. So make another center line. Go back to your circular pattern, change it to feature pattern. And then you want to do your sweep two across the line you just did. Reapply features. And then this time we'll do 15. Let's see how that looks. All right. So we'll hit OK with that. And it's going to create this. Now, if you don't like seeing all those lines, um, the dark outlines, you can go over to your, and I, I know you can't see it on the screen, but there's a little cube over on the right hand side of the screen, camera and render options. Just gonna click that and hover over shaded with edges and then go shaded without edges. Um, so this will be kind of like how it looks when you print it. So that's looking pretty cool. So now we want to add a shell operator onto this thing. So to do that, use this rollback bar. You're going to go all the way up to right before your revolve or right after your revolve. And then you're just going to shell that. And then roll your bar all the way back down. going to take a while because you got to it's going to reapply all those things you did already um, this is just so you actually can put some flowers in your vase and it's not just solid um, you could keep it solid and use vase vase mode on your printer but that's up to you you just don't shell it all right so now we got our little we got it shelled. There's a little bit pattern because the these kind of went over, but that's fine. That looks cool. So now that we have a vase with all this cool stuff on it, um, don't really like how this looks. So we're gonna add a lip there, and then same with down here. We're gonna add a lip there. So to do that, let's go on the right plane and let's do a section view, and that's over on the side um, at that little cube drop it down all the way at the bottom you have to be clicked on the plane though so to get a section view this hit OK now we'll sketch on the right plane that way we can see the walls on the inside and then we're going to draw a circle and make it let's make it Ten, eight. Let's make it ten. So make it ten, and then we're gonna move it to where we don't have to. So if it was like out here, you would need supports under that, or it's gonna look bad. So we're gonna move it in so that don't need supports, and it covers you know what you are trying to cover up inside there. So that's that's pretty good right there. Uh, so he'll actually no, we're gonna draw another one down at the bottom too. Uh, we'll just draw a random one out here, make it ten, and then move it so that it covers all these old things that we don't want to see. And we're gonna we're gonna cut this cut it all at the bottom too so don't really get too worried about it all right so now we finish that sketch um actually no we're gonna go back into that sketch and add a center line random line gotta be in the center then we're gonna go sketch 10 revolve around the center line it's gonna Evolve it, you're gonna hit OK. Uh, now you can take it off section view so that you know you can see what you just did. So now it looks pretty good. You got a little lip on there, it's gonna be good for 3D printing. So now, now the problem is um, the bottom right here um, that's gonna be touching the 
build plate first, so we gotta cut that off. Alright, so then we're just gonna go to the front plane. Sketch on that. Just grab your uh, tool there. And we're just gonna go along this this plane line and just draw a random, make sure it's going across the whole thing. It's a rectangle there. And we're going to extrude, remove, symmetric, and let's do a hundred. See what that looks like. So that does it, but we'll go 150 just in case. And then extrude that. So now we got our flat little thing here. All right, so now we got a flat bottom. Gonna print good. We got a, and that's that's pretty much it. That's your finished vase. It's looking pretty. It's ready to print. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's gonna be a good looking vase. Um, on your desk. Yeah. Thanks for watching.